Caitlin Bennett exposes Logan Paul. Caitlin f Bennett, the gun girl. No one takes this girl serious. I don't know how she goes out in public safely. Word. No one takes her serious. Logan Paul, nobody takes you serious now. You got exposed. You got canceled. Now you're afraid of getting canceled, so you go put on somebody else. Nobody takes Logan Paul seriously except when you're going jumping around doing fake WWE. Or if you're yelling at a fight, hey crowd, it's Logan Paul. Nobody takes you serious. A year ago, I was invited out to LA to go on Logan Paul's YouTube podcast, Impulsive. This was a rather strange invite because Logan Paul is not a political content creator, but because I was constantly going viral on social media, Logan and his team wanted to use my name to get clicks for their podcast. That's what it all, exactly. It's only about clout to these people. It's who's popping, who's gonna bring in views. There's no stance there's no belief there's no conviction it's just oh sh this caitlin bennett girl the gun girl whoa let's get the gun girl on let's get the island boys on oh alex jones is popping right now hey alex jones say the conspiracy thing andrew tate oh andrew tate's banned i hate andrew tate it's just following the trend there's nothing there's no substance it's the trending page in a podcast and by the way, before we get into this juicy story, if you want to support my work, please go to patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett. If you sign up, you can receive super cool perks such as an autographed photo and even have your name in the description of every YouTube video. And while you're here, hit that notification bell so you'll get a reminder every time we get out a new video. Now, for those of you who don't know much about Logan Paul, he grew up here in Ohio, just like I did, and is well known around the area. Him and his brother, Jake Paul, became popular on Online after becoming famous on Vine and subsequently making YouTube channels. The Disney Boys! I have friends who went to high school with the two of them that tried to talk me out of going on his show because I said Logan is not a good person. But I went on anyway because I didn't want to judge a they do anything for clout. They do anything for clout. person by what others say. Since I had that same thing happen to me, all of the time. I think there's a lot of lies out there about you or misconceptions about you and there's a lot of that about me too. So when people were like, don't go out there, he's X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, you do realize that people view me like that too. So I went on thinking it would be like all of their other podcasts. They bring guests on to have fun with them, ask them about their lives and play some of their videos. But I got a totally different treatment. It was a gotcha, huh? They came in disagreeing with her, wanting to make fun of her instead of joke with her. And I'm not sure if it was because his co-host wanted to bring me out there to berate me for my views, or if Logan was just too hungover to take command of his own show. What happened last night? Nonetheless, that's what the show turned into. And from the beginning to end, it was the Mike Majlak show, as Logan's babysitter took the opportunity to get mad at me for an hour and a half because I support the Second Amendment. Do you currently own an AR-10 or a long barrel uh, semi-automatic weapon? Yes. Okay. Why do you, why do you feel the need to own that level of <clears throat> firepower? <clears throat> because I want to. But it's your a property. automatic weapon that was re revised mm, bump stock. That's not an automatic okay. weapon. Well, it's not an automatic. Sorry. Here, I'm. I'm trying. What is to be a bump best. stock? It is a, a piece of, call it technology, call it Plastic. mechanical device that is used to turn a semi-automatic weapon. No, it's not? No. Mm -mm. Okay. Bump stock no. is a modification a that modification. you put on. It doesn't turn. What's the sound play? Is that is that the podcast? Or is it, did you hear that? The firearm into anything. Oh, it's and you it can do you, it. It gives you the ability to to fire the weapon fast. To bump fire. Fine, but you fine. can do that with right, a rubber right, right. band. You can right. do that with a finger. You can do that with a belt loop. Are we going to ban all those? They thought they could bring me on and own me on the subject I'm most knowledgeable about. I never understood why people who are anti gun bring up the argument why do you need a gun that's bigger than other guns? Because it's bigger than other guns, right? If someone shows up with a Glock and you got an AR, you are going to win that gunfight. Right, it's just extra protection. We are able to, we have the right to bear arms. Why, what's the difference? They're both murder machines. Well, one's scarier than the other one. That's where the argument goes. I'm Mike and I was addicted to heroin. <laughs> Shut up. But unfortunately for them, everyone who watched the podcast thought it was embarrassing for them that a five foot four girl was standing up to three wimpy men afraid of guns. That's scary. That's scary. That's, you know that's scary because it's big as a scope. Okay. Oh, that's safe. No, it's, but that's your opinion. Why do you need a, a magazine that holds more than five rounds? So what if 10 people are coming in your house 
to rob you. I was gonna say, I mean, but those are times when people were fighting with muskets, right? Times have changed. In fact, when I threw statistics at them, they thought they could own me by trying to fact check me, only to admit that my statistics were right. They have a 95% fail rate. They don't do their job 95% of the time. They're always stealing stuff. Where's that uh, data from? Because that, would, that seems like it would equal out to be a lot of problems on the aircraft uh, if 95% of the their job was a failure. Just fact check, the Department of Homeland Security did indeed do a private uh, screening to find out that 95% of uh, things are missed by the TSA. Clearly, Logan Paul's podcast with me did not go how they planned, and they weren't expecting me to make them look like the fools. Mike really should have done more homework on me before trying to debate me, because his feelings are no match for good old facts. We have more than 20,000 gun laws on the book. They're, it's called, it's, <laughs> calling something that's ineffective in its execution useless is, is, is Well, wouldn't that futile. be the definition of useless if, if we can't execute something? It's not that we can't, we just haven't done a good enough job of so it. So what do we do? We need to do a better job of it. Now, if you think I'm kidding when I called Mike Logan's babysitter, I'm not. Mike Majlack was literally hired by Logan Paul to be his personal babysitter to make sure that Logan doesn't get into any more trouble. It's funny that now I'm, a lot of the biggest YouTubers have one of these guys in their circle. That's pretty much their job is to be the babysitter, right? Like when you get that much clout and money at a young age without really realizing the consequences or how to earn it properly, when you get hit with fame and money all at once, you don't understand how to act properly, so you need a you need a mic to go and oh no don't 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 no keep it away bad Logan bad bad bad. After his reputation took a big hit for filming a dead body in Japan in 2017, Mike is a 35 year old man who acts like a teenage boy and lives vicariously through Logan Paul's fame. Logan lets Mike live in his house and literally gets him porn stars for his birthday. It is my friend Hey Big Mike's 34th birthday. I'm gonna be honest, it's actually his 35th. I did some thinking and there is one thing that Mike loves more than anything. Porn stars, porn stars, porn stars. That's my friend Lana. Like, I don't see it! <laughs> this is the best gift. My oh, mom oh my never God. got me anything like this, bro. <laughs> this hypocrite who spent an hour and a half yelling at me for supporting my right to own an AR-15, then went to Virginia with Logan Paul to shoot fully off- Oh my God! Bumble God! Come on! Automatic M16 rifles. Oh my God. That's the same gun that they put in the- That's scary. That's scary. What the f- that's This gun is probably 300 pounds. Just a lot of extra added weight to my body. That oh my god. This is gonna make this extremely, extremely difficult. Why do you feel the need to use that kind of firepower, Mike? Did you pass a background check before shooting that? Why do you feel the need to own that level? <laughs> Firepower. These are the types of people Logan and Mike are. They live degenerate lives and will do absolutely anything to get clicks on the internet, which is exactly why Logan Paul wound up filming a dead body in a forest. I wanted to give Logan the benefit of the doubt, but clearly he hasn't changed since his mishap a few years ago. And his personality is as trashy as his classmates say it is. After I started going viral again last month because people on Twitter started snipping up clips from my YouTube videos, Logan and Mike used the opportunity to try to play the montage and make it look bad on the podcast, right? Because she had a, it, it happened, you know, it's repeated, right? She had a montage clipped up out of context of stuff from her YouTube channel to make her look like a racist piece of shit asshole. Huh. And maybe a lot of them were jokes. A lot of them, you don't see what happens again and again. Try to use my name for clicks once again. Caitlin F Bennett, the gun girl. They brought me on their show when I was going viral and waited a whole year for me to go viral once again to this time trash me and delete my podcast with them. Wow. Bumbaka! <sighs> Very funny that they'll probably get on this podcast too and talk about clout chasers and about how girls only want them for their clout, but they are professional clout chasers. They don't stand for anything. They have no morals. They don't believe in God. Nothing. 
I'm actually gonna remove the Caitlyn Bennett video right now. Why? She's the first guest that I'll say, like, I'm ashamed that I had her on this show and for <laughs> For that reason, I'm deleting the episode with Caitlyn Bennett, the gun girl. I'm apparently the worst guest they've ever- He thought that was like a big thing. You see how these people are trying to play into the woke side and trying to play in free speech at the same time? You don't stand for nothing. Brought on their show. Meanwhile, they've brought on porn stars. Oh. Uh -huh. Drug addicts. And even people accused of porn stars. Oh. I don't like Bond! Damn. Yo, anybody who's been on this show, you realize that you're, this is what you're breathing in, right? You got all this on your, on your mouth. You should wear a mask. If you go on Impulsive, wear a mask. Wear that N95. Bumbucka! Uh -huh. Drug addicts and even people accused of rape. If Logan is going to believe every bad thing said about me, then he should 100% believe accusations like that and probably delete their podcast, right? Logan should also probably delete his podcast with Alex Jones since I'm the one that set up the interview, which means he should delete his interview with Ben Shapiro since- She said he- <sighs> Since he only brought him on after seeing how many views his shows got with me and Alex. And like everybody else, Logan and Mike go on to lie about me to his millions of subscribers over things that can very easily be debunked. The reason she's viral right now, she just went to the gay pride parade to ask leading questions to cause a f scene. No, I didn't. I went nine months ago. You just saw it now on Twitter. You may have seen this on Stupid, bro. Stupid. Wrong. Twitter. She had an interaction with a cop at the at the pride parade. So this is like a two minute interaction mm -hmm. of her just just poking the cop. Nope. It's eighteen minutes. You just saw two minutes because that's what people clipped up. Bye. By the way, kudos to this cop. He crushed. He's a he's a fucking. You should hero. go watch this he's entire a, scene. It's actually about five minutes long. This is a two minute clip of it. I watched the entire scene last night. You guys aren't even good at trying to be dishonest. Again, eighteen minutes long. But you're right, Mike. You should go watch the entire video. Look it up on our channel. It's called Pride Gets Peaceful. I got shoved and mobbed for simply existing. You gotta sue people like this. Oh, I got punched! Everybody, join in! Join in, make a circle! Don't this scum! This scum! This scum! And the cop lied about me needing a press pass, lied about me antagonizing people, and lied about needing to take my camera as evidence if I wanted to file a report. If you don't have a press pass, you can't interview people in here. If you don't have a press pass, I would prefer you to stop doing this. But I don't have to. I didn't say you had to. I would okay. ask you, I prefer you. You don't have a press pass, you can't interview people in here. You understand that. Clown world. You're disturbing people, correct? I'm not disturbing you anybody. Are, Can I, I tell me, you something no, that's Let me tell you something. If we have any more complaints about your behavior tonight, you're going to end up being in trouble. Hey, I can. am a victim of disorderly conduct. What's that? We have, I have video been... for being assaulted. Okay. Would they... you like me to make a report about you being assaulted? Should I? Michael has the footage on there. I don't know if he has the I'm not going to look at any footage. I will send it to a detective, so I'll have to take the camera and put I it do. on property. This happens to me enough to know. and actually happened again the next day in the same state. All the cops ever need as evidence is to see the footage, not take the camera. All right, the uh, suspect's got a blue jacket, a black backpack on, and has got a white printed shirt. So yeah, kudos to this cop for crushing the First Amendment. Why is Caitlin Bennett, gun girl, at the Pride Parade? Why she you, well, we know why. We know why she's there to poke people and to get a reaction. Actually, I was there to ask people if they support Donald Trump's initiative to decriminalize being gay all over the world. It's not her fault that they get triggered. See, it shows, and, I mean, she knows essentially what's gonna happen. It's good content because they cannot handle people on the other side having a different opinion. It's impossible for them to even compute that they could be wrong or to have a debate, let alone conversation. But she there. look at her. Asking questions, she's not there assaulting or starting riots and chants. She's just showing up and they get triggered. You shouldn't put the blame on her for the fact that these fucking bots can't handle a differing opinion. Blame them. Get mad at their intolerance. 
point out their faulty logic that they talk about how tolerant and inclusive they are, but when somebody else comes in, they lose their fucking minds and start shoving. And had a good conversation with a lot of people. In his acceptance speech, he's the only president ever to mention LGBTQ people. I didn't know that. I feel like it's about time. I mean, someone needs to do it, so. And Trump is the guy that did it. I, I do see Trump. He is a very strong candidate, and like, I would not be surprised if he if you won, I wouldn't be surprised. You didn't come across that video though, did you, Mike? What you don't see is the first th three hours of her being there berating people who are celebrating their- Berating people by asking questions? Their livelihood and I their and their gay pride. You're right, Mike. You their livelihood bleh, dicks up the ass and being proud of it in the public. I don't see it because that never happened. I also wasn't even there for three hours. Why don't you show everyone what really happened if you say you watched it? Why don't you show how I was treated so poorly that people stepped in to defend me against their own friends who were being violent? I shouted the second amendment because that's the beliefs I have, but I draw the line at assaulting you. I'm not gonna have you be assaulted while I'm just standing here. Go no away. way. Don't. No one wants it here. You're no. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh, right, because that would go against your narrative about me being the worst person in the world. She could remold her narrative and start to say things and act in a civil <laughs> way. And she's not doing, she's antagonizing gay. Look what happens to truth speakers over and over again. They create a false narrative. They make up lies. They try to make you seem like a terrible person so that they don't have to listen to your message. Because when you start, when you start speaking the truth in a world full of lies, everybody gets mad and it's really dangerous to be a truth teller like caitlin bennett because you see all the the attacks that she's able to so i don't know if she's still making videos but it's it's very difficult you have to be very headstrong and you almost rarely see a woman able to do it but you can't tell the truth anymore because the world is living in lies this is why this podcast succeeds and her is she, she's the worst person of all time and lesbian. Well, that's ironic considering Logan had to apologize to the LGBT community for joking that he was going to go gay for a month. At least I'm strong enough in my convictions and my actions to never apologize to the outrage mob. No one takes this girl serious. I don't know how she goes out in public safely. I, I have no idea. Probably because she always has a camera on her. She's probably carrying. You're right, Logan. I don't know how either, considering people like you put my safety at risk because you feel the need to lie about me, which results in incidents like this that you complain about and accuse me of provoking. The reason she does it is for this, is for this discourse yeah. to happen on this show and for her to get another 1 million views mm. and for people to talk about it. Now look at the projecting that's going on here. He says my goal in all of this is to get people mad so I can go viral when they are the ones lying about me to try to get views because they know it's popular to hate me. And here's Mike projecting once again. She's gonna clip this part of the show. She's gonna put it on her Twitter and say, the impulsive boys mm -hmm. think my conservative speeches offends them. So they, hold on. So they deleted our episode. Like this is liberal brainwashing. Okay, that's exactly what I know exactly how this girl works, how every piece she moves on the puzzle or on the chessboard works. Actually, Mike, I know exactly how leftists like you work. You had the opportunity to debate me and your own followers said your ideas were awful and that you did a terrible job making your arguments. You are ashamed that you wanted to bring me out there to make me look bad, but only discredited yourself. That's this is embarrassing for you. That's why you have to lie about me and delete the podcast and selectively edit clips of me. You don't want people to know who I am. These leftists, that's what they do. They are not capable of debate. But there's so Destiny is, is the exception. They're not capable of debate. They're not capable of even reacting to a video in full. They're not capable of live streaming. They need to edit things and put it in context and do video essays and construct a narrative through weeks of research. But when it comes to one-on-one -on -one conversations, all of them fold. You know it's true. I am or what I actually stand for. You want people to believe certain things about me, which is why you won't actually show what happened at Pride and why you won't show your audience how I get treated for simply just existing. Dude, stop. Stop it, you Stop. Hey, 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 Excuse you.
Dude. Yep. Call, call him. Tolerant left, right? The all inclusive tolerant left. Dude. You're walking right. Like you. you walked up us. Back. To go to their House of Representatives office and demand. Get it out of my face. Get it out of my face. Hey, Get it out of my face. Stop being a bot. Look at him. You want to be this? Y'all look dumb. Not capable of disagreement. Your thoughts don't go past level two. You've all been brainwashed. You look ugly. You don't care about truth. You're disgusted. You believe in a bunch of degenerate behavior. Godless nonsense. Come to the good side. Stop it. This is what you, this is you, this is you. These are the bots. Bumbuka! This is the tolerant left right You're here. You're gonna videotape me. Yep. Wait, why can't I touch it? Because it's not your property. Hey, why? Wait, why? Because you made him fast. So this guy just told the golf cart to roll to run me over. We're over. Video cameras. Link video cameras. Link people. Love wins, right? Love wins. Believe all women. We're accepting. We're progressive. We care. Empathy. The other people are selfish. We're inclusive. We're tolerant. We're accepting. Run over! Nothing hurt. Hey, back the f up. Go! 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 I get treated the way I do and constantly record interactions such as these because people like you mislead your audience about me, which causes them to get violent when they see me. You can't blame me for how low IQ brainwashed teenagers react to my presence. You should blame yourself, which is ironic because Logan says I get exactly what I deserve when I go out and film. Mad viral on Twitter and has for the past I think like week or two weeks just just for like hassling people and people chat is she banned on twitter i'm banned on twitter is she i i'm saying there's probably 90 percent chance she's gone um handling her appropriately the way that she probably like deserves to be handled <laughs> logan paul thinks that caitlin bennett deserves to be assaulted logan paul thinks that she deserves to be spit on shoved logan paul thinks that she deserves to die because her opinions are different than his now this is coming from the same guy who got spit on a few weeks ago and called it disrespectful. If I deserve it, do you, Logan? Oh, no. <laughs> no spitting isn't physical, but in that's just disrespectful. It's it's this spitting isn't physical. Spitting is one hundred percent physical. In fact, also oh. there, there there's uh, potential. I think it's assault charges. Spitting on someone is probably the highest level of disrespect. <laughs> Did you just spit on me? Don't touch me. Do not touch me. Handling her appropriately the way that she probably like deserves to be handled. Spitting on someone is probably the highest level of disrespect. How do you feel about Kaylin said immigrants ruin our culture and acts like police brutality doesn't exist? I think that immigration ruins culture in, in all places. You think it's racist because white people are saying it in America, but the reason that a lot of countries are successful, like Japan and Sweden, Sweden's changing, they're allow allowing more. But what ruins the essence of a country, a lot of times, is immigration. We've accepted a lot of people in America, that the reason I'm here, but that's, that's a big reason there's so much degeneracy going on, and these liberal cities are so tolerant of all this bullshit, because we don't know how to say no sometimes. That's how you preserve a culture. Ultimately, even like the natives back in the day, what ruined the culture was the British people coming in and colonizing. Immigration does ruin a country. It sounds racist because it's a white girl, but it's true. She acts like police brutality doesn't exist. It does exist, but it's grossly exaggerated. And you've even seen it in this video. One of the policemen was lying about what the rights that she's saying she needs a press pass, not protecting her when she needs to. We've been reacting to a lot of Caitlyn Bennett's videos where the cops are extremely incompetent at their job. And she's a white girl supposed to be the protected class. The police brutality thing is completely blown out of proportion so that we can have a reason to protest and be mad and have BLM bullshit. If you look at the, if you actually look at the stats, it's blown out of proportion. It's made it seem like if you're a black dude, you're gonna walk out and get shot. That's not the case. Yes, there'd be like different treatment. Hey, boy, you're going over to where? Where are you going, boy? Let me see your ID. That's a minority compared to what really goes on. 
like, that she probably like deserves to be handled. What a big 180 from a year ago when Logan and Mike looked into their camera and told people to stop harassing both my fiance and myself. Threats, do you receive hate for being with her? Oh yes. Oh nod. yes, people have told him that they will find me, rape me, and make him watch. That's that's not that's, that's terrible. Not, yeah, that's not okay. uh, are you scared, Caitlin? I when you go outside. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I it's daunting. It's very telling that the same guys that expressed concern for my safety a year ago and no one get contacted by the FBI over credible threats against my life. Wow. Now say that I get what I deserve. Uh, the FBI called me when I was heading to the Airbnb yesterday. The, the FBI called Does that me. that happen a lot? It's happened once Why? before because they had a credible threat against me. If you're out there and you're gonna give Caitlyn sh in a public setting and like call her names or threaten her, don't f do that. The way that she probably like deserves to be handled. This this is why they pulled the podcast, so they could control the narrative about me and destroy any evidence they have of me behaving the exact opposite of what they want people to think of me. Unfortunately for them, you can still go watch the podcast in its entirety at the link here. And since it's pulled from their channel, you'll be able to both see the truth and not have to worry about giving them any clicks. I'm convinced they also deleted the podcast to try to impress Russell Brand who is a well-known communist. But sadly for them, Russell Brand had no clue who I was. Is Russell Brand a communist? I thought he was awake. Russell Brand just moved to Rumble. Shout out to Steve will do it. And shout out to Sneeko Live on Rumble. Uh, Sneeko Live and Real Sneeko on Rumble. I thought Russell Brand was awake. He's a commie? Do you have well, any thoughts done. on, do you know the girl, Caitlin Bennett? Everything I know about Caitlin Bennett, I learned just then. Imagine bringing on an internationally known entertainer and making your first question to him about Caitlin Bennett. I live so rent free in Mike's head that out of all the things to ask Russell Brand, this is the most important question for him to ask. For being so ashamed of me, they sure love to randomly bring me up, even in other podcast episodes. Is there anybody you'd like to see age faster and just move more towards I would, I would love talking? in the next year for Caitlyn Bennett Gun Girl to look like a full-on grandmother and just be interviewing people at pep rallies like, <laughs> what do you think about abortion? <laughs> just like, Man, uh, imagine the girl, what is she like, 23, 24? triggering three men of their caliber of like all this clout mike's like almost 40 living re this is the power that being a truth speaker has you get to because everybody deep down wants to be a truth speaker but not everybody's capable of doing it you get canceled you get scared you end up like logan lying but when you're a truth teller you live rent free in these people's heads and it's like you give them you give them energy. It makes you more powerful. It just depends on how you use it the right way. You can conjure and push it away. It's a magical thing. Right now, like there's so many people that, that are watching this. I, I'll stream, I'll stream. I, I know I talk about the haters too much. There, there are people right now watching, there's 7,000 here, who just watch hating me. They, they are, I have so many hate watchers, they want to see me fall. And it makes you stronger than <laughs> giving like, brain vessel that's directing burning calories thinking about you sneeko 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 <laughs> if you don't let it affect you and if you use it the right way you can become more powerful like yo caitlin sh shut the f up give it up if you're so ashamed of me why did you need to clip up this part of your podcast and upload it as its own video titling it logan paul speaks on caitlin bennett going viral again why did you wait a whole year after you interviewed me and nine months after i went to pride to feel ashamed of me. Why did you conveniently wait until I went viral again to feel ashamed of me? Because they just care about clout. I'm so ashamed of the fact that we interviewed Caitlyn Bennett. So I'm going to remind everyone that we interviewed Caitlyn Bennett and make a whole new video about Caitlyn Bennett. They get all of their opinions from Twitter. And I don't want her to get another million views, which is why I'm reminding my 20 million subscribers of who Caitlyn Bennett is. Not only did your subscribers think I wrecked you guys on guns, but they also think you're idiots for deleting the podcast. Feel shame over having her as a guest. 
goes to delete the episode, then makes a clip from the podcast talking about her, giving her attention, and tagging her with hashtags. Makes zero sense. Oh look, it's the beta boys who got owned by Caitlyn Bennett on gun rights. So let me get this right. You delete her video that you already got your views from, then load another video about her to show what? All about that money, boy. You sure showed her, Logan. Caitlyn rocks. She has more guts in her little finger than all three soy boys put together. Thank you, Caitlyn, for exposing these people. They even admit you are not safe. Amazing. If Logan and Mike are that obsessed with me, I challenge them to bring me back on their show for another debate. I challenge you, Mike and Logan, to have some integrity. You scared though. Integrity and show everyone what actually happened. Ain't no way they had her back on again. Because when you have a debate, and when you can't just use Twitter opinions, when you can't just clip things out of context, when it's face to face with people who live in a lie, with people who just spread lies, they fold time and time and time again. You're scared. They hate watchers now. Ready to clip it up, make a video about why I'm going insane, take my meds, I need therapy, I'm a fraud. But they're watching, ready. But when it comes time to get in a call, oh, you want me banned, but you can't get in a call with me. You're scared. Not even in real life, you're scared of Discord. You know who you are, it's all of you happened at Pride instead of clipping up two minutes out of my three videos there. And I challenge you to tell me to my face why you think I get the treatment I deserve. Pussy. You have my number, Logan. I'll be waiting for your phone call to set it up. I have absolutely no shame in any of my beliefs or any of my videos, but you have to live with the shame of sleeping with porn stars, the shame of living a fake life for popularity, and the shame of knowing you screwed up by filming a dead body. I think that's a lot worse than a 24-year-old girl supporting your right to self-defense. But then again, I don't have holes in my brain. This is my brain, right? Oh. I got, holes in your I, got, I got holes in my brain. Living the rest of your life with this brain is not going to be a lot of fun for you or for the people who love you. Just like in the boxing ring, Logan, you're a loser. From the United Kingdom. LSI too. LSI. Same shit. Was in my DMs all day long writing essays. This is you'll learn eventually. Used to look up to him. And then I say, hey, you want to get in a call and talk this out? You're obsessed. You keep tweeting about me. You're writing paragraphs in my DMs. Let's get in a call and talk. No, I'm too busy. Okay. The night and now like, these goofy ass dudes, bro, they said all this foul shit about each other. We all saw the hype to this fight. I mean, not all of you, but they said the most foul shit about each other. And now this is my best friend. What? Thought you guys hated each other. What is this? What is this clout relationship? Are you only friends with each other because you're popular YouTubers? Because it's beneficial because you could sell a poisonous drink to dumb kids who don't know better? Hey, buy this fucking shitty Gatorade. That's why you're best friends. It's clout. When people only live for attention, they become so full of shit, it eventually is gonna collapse. But it's kind of, it's really weird behavior, bro. How could this be your best friend? Hey, hey. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and share, hit the subscribe button, and click the notification bell so you won't miss any of our new videos. And if you want to support my work, you can become a patron. All right, shout out Caitlin Bennett. Chad, I'm out of here. We got a call tomorrow on the Creativity Kit at 4 p.m. Shout out to the, shout out to Stephen Scold. He found an editor in the Creativity Kit. It's a great place to network and meet, like, meet like-minded people if you want to make money online. Remember that you can clip up anything and put it on TikTok from this video. Please not the Bumbuka. moments. I don't want to look bad. They're already trying to make me look bad on a regular basis. Follow me on Instagram at Sneeko. My Twitter's suspended because I tell the truth. Twitter is a demonic app. So is Instagram, but it's, I still have it, so I'll still use it. Follow me on Rumble, Sneeko Live, and Real Sneeko. I'm going to start streaming on there too. I keep saying that, but I'm not doing it. Tomorrow, fuck it, I'll do it tomorrow. I'm gonna stream for an hour on Rumble tomorrow. Follow me at Sneeko Live, I'll stream for an hour on there. Yeah, shout out to all the TikTokers getting to it right now. And anything else? Be safe, follow God, speak the truth. That's it. That's your job?